Hey, hello everybody, it's Rosie Lentil Spirit Blossoms. So good to see each of you today. I wanted to talk about what to expect when you have left a narcissist because it can feel unpredictable. It's not dissimilar to the grieving process. And I wanna talk about that for a second because when I left my narcissist, I'm gonna get the, glare, the glasses off there, thank you. When I left my narcissist, um, I actually took my wedding ring and um, I, or my commitment band, wedding ring, whatever you want to call it, and I went to a river and I did a releasing ritual and I threw it away. I tossed it, you know. Well, I could have probably sold it for some money. It felt better to throw it in the river. And so the river claimed and cleansed and purified me in that moment because what I needed was to see that energy being claimed and taken away from me. And it helped a lot. So the river claimed the ring. I'm going to call this episode, episode, The River Claimed the Ring, because when I released that ring, I felt a huge weight come off my shoulders. I felt like this is, it was that there's, it was the point of there's no going back. I couldn't go back into the river and get the ring. I really did have a profound release moment, by, and it didn't harm the environment, uh, by Releasing that rings energy to be purified by the river, by nature. So, you know, if someone does end up finding it, it will have been purified and by running water. And that's great by me. But in that moment of, of release, I did my releasing ritual. I, I thanked, I, I took a page from Catherine, Catherine, Woodward Thomas's work, I did take her course and it was profoundly helpful, conscious uncoupling. And I did a releasing ritual and I, I said, I release a relationship. I offer gratitude for everything I learned from this relationship. I give myself permission to move forward and I leave the past behind. I ask that all strings and cords that are unhealthy and toxic be dissolved. I ask for blessings upon the person that I am detaching my life from and that they would for their best and highest good. And in fact, the best and highest good for everyone. And I just, I really let it go. And I threw the ring and I heard it splash in the water and I saw the running water kind of dancing, dancing um, away from me. And it was so purging to do this. I felt so, in that moment, so totally free. Now, I want to talk about the aftermath from that, though. Remember, we're talking about what not to expect. As I'm getting back in my vehicle and I'm driving back home from, from the body of water, I had a moment of panic because what I had done was irrevocable. I made a decision and I had tossed it into the water. The water had claimed it, nature took it back, the universe source took it. And I had a moment of panic because even though I had things lined up in, in my life to evolve forward, that empty space was there just for a moment. And I had a panic attack and I didn't expect that. I thought I would feel nothing but relief, but I felt a moment of, of, I'm gonna say it, what the hell have I done? And a moment of, if he finds out, he's going to be very angry with me and then it washed over me that I had just let him go and that it was going to take some time 
for me to no longer filter my feelings through his needs and his eyes in that my mind was still not free. I may have physically let go of the ring. I may have physically walked away from the relationship, but I was not free. And that panic attack was a, was a strong indicator that I was not, that I was in fact still ensnared a bit in the narcissist web of lies and control. But I think that having a closing ritual where you are declaring to the universe, to God, to source, whomever you, whomever you follow, whomever you believe, that it, it helps to get you moving. It helps to release the stagnation. And if you have a moment of panic, that's okay. Breathe through it. Call a friend. Do, have, bring someone with you and do the ritual. Have someone bear witness to it so that they can have, there's a level of accountability that's going on. So you're staying on track. There's no going back because it takes sometimes up to seven times of trying to leave a narcissist. It takes people years to leave. Because you become so ensnared by their influence. They're that good. And you don't see it coming. The ring, the river took my ring. And as I, as even though this was years ago, and I look back on it, that moment stands out is my, in my mind as one of the most purging moments of my life. It was one of my wake-up calls, and I realized just how controlled I had been. And I cannot tell you how unbelievably grateful I am to be free. And now, my dear, my darlings, it is your turn to be free. It's your turn. Tag your it. If you need support, my contact information is in the link below. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please do subscribe, ring the ring the, hit the notification bell, share, and leave a comment if this has been helpful to you. If there's uh, something you'd like me to cover, I'm happy to do that. If you'd like to have, if you'd like to start working with me to overcome narcissistic abuse, you can also do that. Thank you so much, my loves. Thank you for watching and tag your it. It's your turn. It's time to set yourself free and to start the journey to wellness and wholeness. I love you. I believe in you. You are amazing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.